All right, everyone, it's time for a video that a lot of people uh, have been asking for actually for over a year, and that's on the topic of cryptocurrency. Uh, my thoughts on its use and so forth. Uh, cryptocurrency is interesting to me. I do like the fact that it's being sort of like the Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum functionality is being built into some of the alt tech sites. So like in, in some way you can make passive income actually for interacting uh, with content, for making content. I think that's a good idea. I don't have a problem with cryptocurrency. It is definitely uh, people who invested early and often in something like Bitcoin, like if I could go back to when Bitcoin was young, and I did hear about it at the time, and I was like, well, yeah, but I'm poor, and you know, I don't want to spend the extra hundred bucks to buy some Bitcoins, basically. Back when it was <laughs> a tiny cost per Bitcoin, I wish that I, yeah, I wish that I had invested in it, because I'd be a millionaire at this point if I had bothered to do that. I did technically have the money to invest in it, and I was like, yeah, but I'd rather, I want to buy energy drinks, essentially. And I think I'd do fine, but it would have been, uh, it, I wouldn't have any student loans to pay back. Let's just put it that way. But here's the thing. Now cryptocurrency is not some underground thing. It's very mainstream. The government recognizes it, governs it sort of like a currency, a real currency. Taxes it if you make income selling it. Um, it's regulated to some degree. China, I think, shut down uh, some of its exchanges. Uh, isn't that for Ethereum? I think Ethereum is a Chinese bit, uh, sort of a cryptocurrency, if I remember correctly. Uh, but there are, there are several uh, major variants, and then there are sites that offer different types of services for storing and transferring these funds. Uh, whether it's, you know, you're popping it onto a USB, which is probably more secure. As long as you remember your password, you better fucking remember it. I think they found a, a USB drive in a landfill once, unprotected, no less. Somebody had bought a bunch of Bitcoins like early on and they threw it out like accidentally or on purpose. Someone found it. There's hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoins on it at that point because they had probably bought it when it was like a few a few dollars a piece. They're like, oh, oh, what a fun thing. And then they forgot about it. And they're like, oh, this old USB can go. It's fucked up or something. They found it in a landfill. Somebody got wealthy. Of course, then they had to pay taxes on it. Which is dumb, it defeats the cost, uh, the purpose. But here's what cryptocurrency is not. Cryptocurrency is not a good investment for survivalistic situations, shit hits the fan. Um, you're not using it uh, if the grid goes down. You can use precious metals, you can use food, you can use uh, fiat currency for <laughs> bartering, which is basically what it is, a medium of exchange to begin with but you can't use your Bitcoins. Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin or whatever, they're reliant upon having, number one, worldwide communication, and number two, sufficient energy to power it properly. Um, beyond that, it has no purpose. So while it's a good investment if things are okay, it's really, uh, it's a step behind like precious metals if you're talking about something like that. Like I would rather invest in, in gold or silver or something. If I was convinced, like, oh, you know, times might get rough, uh, things might go south. It wouldn't be cryptocurrency I was investing in. The only real reason to invest in a cryptocurrency is if you're you know, speculating to the point where you, uh, you assume that the value over time rises and you can make a profit off of it, transfer that profit to something else. People who invested early and they're like, I, I think Litecoin would probably be the best investment because I think it's worth so much less uh, than Bitcoin or Ethereum, but there's no real reason to believe if either of those ideas hit a snag that Litecoin won't skyrocket and simply replace them. If you've got more than one cryptocurrency, you should favor the one that you can potentially make the most money off of by trading in it. That would be my general thought. I wouldn't buy Bitcoins right now when they're already sky high unless I thought, they're, oh, they're going to get like to $100,000 a piece. I think McAfee said, oh yeah, Bitcoins will be worth like millions of bucks a piece at some point. Uh, maybe uh, it's possible considering the the acceptance of cryptocurrency by increasing numbers of websites and tech services means that as an increasing proportion of the economy deals in such things that will begin to take on additional importance you could see it uh, synthesized with something like PayPal more directly over time sites uh, mainstream sites could embrace them that will certainly cause the value to rise and of course uh, over time fewer bitcoins mined um, and increasingly smaller denominations of the same because it's 
capable of being denominated in increasingly small numbers uh, would have greater value. So it's still, it is a sound investment potentially, but there's so much volatility, like the world governments could just say, okay, we're banning all cryptocurrencies and then you're, you're shit out of luck essentially. It's possible for that to happen. I think I would be optimistic about the future of the con uh, existence of cryptocurrencies, uh, but I would prefer those that are worth less over those worth more uh, as uh, the sort of bet you're making there is, well, the larger cryptocurrencies might hit some sort of problem that collapses their value, makes them useless, some nation bans them, and then some other cryptocurrency rises up. Or upstart cryptocurrencies, you know, somebody develops a new one, they form some startup to get it going. Uh, yeah, you should probably invest in it if you have the capability to do so. You can definitely make a huge return. But it's not something that you would store long term for a survival situation. It's not a steady investment over time so much as it is something that will become a normalized currency for the internet or something. So I would say, and I'm probably not going to invest in it. Maybe I'll buy some light coins or whatever. I'd rather, I'd rather uh, rely upon simply building more passive income in a general sense. Um, like I make money writing and editing books. Well, that's my sort of investment that I'm making. Those products continue to be available after they're completed with no additional work required, uh, essentially, uh, as opposed to uh, in trying to invest in cryptocurrency and eke out an existence trading it. Now, it'd be a little bit like doing that with a, a physical currency. But it's certainly helpful. It adds to the world economy because of the massive value associated with them. I would just be careful that you're not investing in something that may at some point collapse in value down to a much more stable level uh, because it becomes clear that it's being overvalued. Uh, you could see literally a uh, microcosm of the sort of uh, pre-Great Depression stock market problems we had in the world uh, back in the 1920s and 30s. You could see that happen because of speculation. We could uh, assume that Bitcoin is grossly overvalued. It could be assumed that that's the case. Then you have to decide whether you hold on to them or, tra or trade them off in a frenzy. Uh, if that happens, my advice is hold on to them because they probably rise back up uh, and over time again uh, if they continue to be used, be uh, be, uh, continue to be worth more and more. But what rate uh, and what stability is involved there? It's, uh, it's not entirely clear. You're taking a gamble if you're playing with such things. I would not sink all of your life savings into Bitcoin right now. I wouldn't do that. If you had done that years ago, you'd be rich uh, beyond your wildest dreams, you know. Oh yeah, I bought like $1,000 worth of Bitcoins back in, what, 2012 or something. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting on a, a mountain of cash. Well, yeah, you did well, but right now Bitcoin is already quite valuable. You should keep that in mind. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, invest in Bitcoin, invest in Ethereum, invest in Litecoin, invest in some other cryptocurrency. I think they had Dogecoin for a while there uh, or something. I think it was basically a joke though. Yeah, you can, uh, but be careful. Yeah, you might want to diversify a little bit. You might not want to put all of your eggs in one basket if you're dealing with something like that. If it's a, if it's a like you're investing, a, oh yeah, I, I put a thousand dollars down on, got a Bitcoin or something. Okay, you're probably not breaking the bank if you have the ability to do that. I wouldn't invest beyond your reasonable means to do so. Nor would I do that for anything else, by the way. You'd end up like uh, the emperor of San Francisco there when he sunk his life savings into Peruvian rice and then the rice shipments were small, late, and fucked up and he couldn't even sell them and the price collapsed and he went nuts. Of course, he became the emperor of San Francisco, so it wasn't that bad, but you know, it could have been worse. He could have been found dead drunk in a ditch the, uh, the next day or, you know, after having pissed away all of his money. Only because he was funny did people actually give him free food and allow him to levy his one penny per person tax and things like that. I guess if you're a satirist, you can get by with less. But yeah, be careful of cryptocurrency. It's still unstable. Uh, it's impossible to predict at this point. Will it rise? It could. It could go sky high. You know, maybe I'm totally wrong. And if you buy a Bitcoin right now, you still make out like a bandit. But you're not certain of that, it could also go down. Or it could be that it's already at its long-term stable point, or that some government decides to step in. Uh, you know, you could have uh, the UN get involved. You could have all the NATO countries simultaneously agree, yeah, we're gonna fix the price of this. 
uh, because it's uh, ridiculous and we're going to tax it to hell and disincentivize the use of currencies competing with real world actual paper money or something. Uh, that'd be a problem. Yeah, you could lose a significant amount of your portfolio if you're if you're relying uh, upon cryptocurrency. It's possible for that to happen. Be careful what you're doing. Um, you don't want to go down the path of putting all your eggs in one basket. Sometimes the most sound seeming investments that have brought returns in the past are not those that are going to continue to pan out. In full disclosure, I'm not an economist or a lawyer or anything like that, so take that as you will. Um, but that seems to be what happens generally uh, with, with goods and services in general. Uh, they go up and down in value. Now, over time, the world economy continues to grow in value. Bitcoin could be part of that, Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever. Uh, I, again, though, I'd probably invest in Litecoin because it's simply because it's more affordable um, and because it follows the same basic principle. It could get just as high as Bitcoin uh, or Ethereum. It could. I know all of these things. They spike. They decline. They spike again. It looks unstable to me. What more need I say about the uh, situation? That's about all. Peace out.